What's up everyone and welcome back to another week here of building Kashyyyk in Lego. Now this is the series where I'm recreating the scene from Jedi Fallen Order where Cal visits the Imperial base on Kashyyyk. Now this is going to be another great episode. We're going to be working a load on the snot platforms as well as creating a brand new minifigure from the Imperials that Lego never have made. So this should be a really fun episode. I'm definitely excited to hear your feedback and I'm really excited to show you everything that we've got done this week. Now if you guys don't know, this is a weekly segment that comes out every single Saturday. So so if you want to leave a like on the video, it would be muchly appreciated if you do end up enjoying it. If you have any feedback, leave it down in the comment section down below. And if you hit that subscribe button, you can stay up to date with every single video I post from these ones every Saturday and also to the other videos and streams that I do throughout the week where I work on Kashyyyk and much, much more. So if you want to stay subscribed and stay up to date, make sure you're hitting that post notification bell as well so you're notified every time I upload. But without further ado, let's head straight into episode number eight. Okay, so in the last episode, I had a load of comments telling me to add a bit more weathering and stuff to this top section here. It was looking a little bit too clean. So I went ahead and added a few different specks of brown, different areas of mud that have sort of been trodden in uh, to even like the grills and everything on this platform. And I really like the way it came out. I think it's looking really nice, especially these grills over here. I think that looks really good blended into the other mud on the platform. Then I went ahead and removed the ramp itself because this is still a prototype. I wanted to go back in, change up some of the designs and definitely adapt this a little bit. So I removed this and now here you can see a small time lapse of me going over what I changed about the ramp and there's definitely some good things in here. I added a few different elements of different uh, sort of like dirt and mud and stuff as well and I also just went with a more consistent design to what I could see. You can see here I'm using a concept art photo or a photo from the actual game to basically base this off of and do as best I can to recreate that. Okay so we're now turning our attention to base plate number three. It's over here on the build table we have done a little bit of work here. So you can see we've wrapped the uh, continued so that the Technic breaks along here and along this side as well. And then we've raised this up using some of these big purple plates that I got last episode. They're coming in handy already. It's gonna be really nice. So now we're gonna basically uh, continue work on this. Obviously that needs to still have a few more details, but you can kind of tell uh, that we're gonna have these sort of like um, wall designs that are sloping outwards as you've seen in previous episodes coming along here. So I should be able to fit three of them in here. I believe this green piece is the exact width here. So I have one extra stud there and then I believe oh, I might only be two of these that I've got here okay yeah so it looks like we've got two of these oh yeah because there's one more here um, so yeah two of these on this side here and that'll pretty much run us right up uh, flush against where the wall is going to be so basically uh, this area just needs to be flat here and then I also want to go ahead and work on having Technic bricks all the way along these two sides as well and then some more sort of oops, sorry Stormtrooper uh, some more sort of like brown running into dark bluish gray over there just ready for when I build up this wall because I don't really know what color I want the border over there but I'm basically going to run these Technic bricks all the way around the outside just to add a nice steady sturdy structure and then we can start I'm going to go a little bit further than I probably need to just to give a little bit of a start to where the wall is going to be put on top of I'll uh, probably even do it here as well all the way along uh, and then see what we can get done but basically yeah this is going to be the wall is going to be pretty much here running all the way up here um, all the way along here and then it's pretty much going to convert into rocks about here I think this area here is going to be a rock face uh, just a small rock face just here obviously the end of the base will probably be about here on the end of this sort of platform here and that'll work pretty well so I hope you guys uh, know exactly what I'm saying if not you're going to stay tuned and see exactly what I'm going to be doing so basically it's time to get to work on adding the Technic bricks around the outside working on this area making sure this is all the right height and everything and then after that I think in the, uh, in the next couple of days maybe in this episode or the next one we're going to get to work on adding in some more of those sort of sloped areas of wall just here. So in this time lapse right here, we're going to go ahead and do exactly what I was talking about in that last bit of clip right there. We're going to add in this brown here and also go around the edge of the Technic and everything like that. After I finish this time lapse, I'm going to go straight into another time lapse where I get a load of work done on the snot platform for the top of the landing pad on base plate number two. So sit back, enjoy these time lapses, and I'll cut back in when I have some progress done. <music> Okay. 
UK, so we've got some temporary things put in place. I really like the areas of grills and different pipes and stuff like that. Obviously, the big areas of snot are just there as placeholders, so I work out exactly how big it is, and then I'll add more details and stuff like that probably after this. But you can see we've added a few different things in here. I really like the way this is coming together. I didn't want to do too crazy details in here. I will be adding more different things like the inputted embedded vents. But you can see here we're adding another bit of uh, on thing onto there, which is to make that sort of small slope onto the pipes. I think that looks pretty cool, and I think it flows pretty well into the rest of the platform and I really like this of course we'll add some more mud details and lots lots more very soon I'm definitely going to add more of those indebted, embedded grills as I just said into all of the different areas of snot I really like the way they look and I think they just look really nice sort of sunken into the actual platform and overall I think this area is looking really really nice and then I'm going to now quickly finish off the area next to the wall here with just a couple more tiles and then basically in the next couple of weeks or maybe in the rest of this episode I might actually get some more work done on the terrain down here in the corner and hopefully finish that off and then I think in the next few episodes we will start to work on the sloped walls and raising up this section here on base plate number three so that it's at the level we need it to be and then also move over to base plate number four. Okay so now we have a couple of flame trooper prototype designs you can see the one on the left has this sort of snood effect right here or I don't know what you call that sort of like face covering balaclava sort of thing and uh, we also have these big breathing tanks or sort of like gas canisters on the back right there now my my sponsor firestar toys do sell those in white and i think that would look a lot more accurate you can see there there's the white ones right there uh, i definitely would be interested in picking up a couple of those if you guys think that that's a good thing to do the other option is to use just these backpacks right here um, i'll show you a quick prototype of what they actually look like um, you can kind of see in this photo here that they have like this small curved design it isn't quite the same as the backpacks from firestar but I think this one, uh, both they both look pretty good, and I think this one look, works quite well for a flame trooper. I think it looks really good, uh, and you can also attach a cable, I believe, that you can then run around to a blaster or a flamethrower or something like that. Uh, the only other difference between these two guys is the helmets and the legs. So you can see, um, at first we have a plain helmet on the left, and we have a sort of more detailed helmet on the right. Now the one thing I don't like is that there's actually probably no details on top of the head on the a real flame trooper, uh, but this one has a couple of details which is kind of cool but I think what I might do is I might decal a small red line around the back of these helmets I think that might look really good you can kind of see on a few of these photos here that they have like this red line wrapping all the way around the back so I think that might look quite accurate I think that might be the one I go for with regards to the legs you can see we have a small pauldron at the bottom here a waist cape uh, then on this one we have the actual legs from this guy right here which is the first order snow trooper I kind of like this it has a sort of similar knee pattern to what we see in the actual game and this one has as just the first order stormtrooper legs definitely let me know which ones you prefer i think probably overall i like this guy the most i think the balaclava sort of thing adds a lot to it however i do like the mouth design as well i think it's a shame you can't mix the two together but um let me know whether you think balaclava or no balaclava i kind of like the balaclava for the actual look of it but i also like this sort of like mouth pattern just below the mouth you can kind of see that's pretty accurate to this guy uh, funnily enough that face just seems to be almost perfect for it so i think uh, i don't really know i'm undecided right now i think helmet wise this one's better i think backpack wise this one's probably better as well if it was in white then i do like the torsos they're just from snow troopers and i think these legs are probably better so i think overall this guy's the better one maybe without the balaclava i need to hear in the comments whether you think balaclava or no balaclava and then for the backpack wise i want to know whether you would prefer backpack one obviously it will be in white or backpack number two so let me know in the comments and then we can try and decide on a perfect flame trooper design and we can then replicate that i do have quite a few of the heads and uh, different like balaclavas and stuff right now so i could definitely make a few of these i think i'm aiming to do about four of these i think that'd be really cool for the uh, imperial army just to have four of these but um yeah once i do know that i can order all the different parts all the different legs and stuff and stop stealing from other figs uh, and have them just as like standalone figs in my army so yeah let me know what you think of these i think it would look better with the red line on these plain helmets i think that's probably the way I'm going to go with that and I think overall I think this with the balaclava probably is swaying it a little bit for me but I definitely want to hear your feedback guys so let me know in the comments okay just as a little update right here I actually went ahead and cut a sticker from I believe it was a Ferrari Speed Champion set. I know this one's a little bit too thick. I'm not 100% sure whether I like that or not, but I think it looks pretty cool to get that red ring around the back of the helmet. Uh, this one's a bit thinner, and I think that looks a lot better. I kind of messed up with the back there slightly, but again, I think that looks pretty awesome. Let me know what you think of that in the comments. I probably will do a better job or maybe even make a decal for it, but um, yeah, that's just a small prototype that I put there, and I think these guys are looking pretty fresh.
Okay, so sadly that is wrapping up the episode for the week there, guys. I hope you did enjoy the progress. I know not a ridiculous amount got done this week, but I'm really happy with the progress and I'm actually really enjoying the series so far. Honestly, I can't tell you enough how fun this process has been so far. I hope you guys are enjoying it alongside me as well and I hope you guys have some feedback to leave in the comment section because I always do need some feedback, especially with regards to those brand new Flame Troopers. I'd love to hear some feedback on those guys and I hope you guys did enjoy. Once again, this series is sponsored by Firestar Toys and Minifig customs i'll leave links down below to both of them as well as brick cantina who sent me a couple of awesome figs so if you want to check out any of those and really support me you can definitely do so by using my discount codes and everything like that and it really does go a long way to helping me out also so just coming along to my live streams and donating as well as becoming a member on the channel i didn't do any chic live streams this week so no people to shout out on the donations but uh, i hope you guys enjoy the ones that are coming up in the next week or so and i definitely will be shouting out anyone from that live stream in the next episode but thank you so much for watching guys i hope you have a great day of course smash that subscribe button leave a like and i will see you in the next episode goodbye